hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. We are here today with the Nautica Marais to have a look at this pretty new Salpa Avant Garde 35. Now I've seen the Salpa brand in the UK and I've got the 25 on my channel, which is a very, very popular boat. But this size and scale I've not seen before. So let's go and have a look around. She's engine naked at the moment. I think the standard engines are 250s, but you can take that up to 350s if you want. And that's going to give you something in the region of around about 45 knots as a maximum cruising speed. You'll also see we've got the zip wake system here. So these are blades that drop down in the water and cause a disturbance, which then helps you balance the boat out. And the brilliant thing about that over older conventional trim tabs is they're automated pull out swim ladder here and you can see there's really nice bathing platform extensions on both sides that enable you to get around the engine and into the water. I'm going to climb up this ladder. So the whole boat in this instant is capped with synthetic teak right the way around. Looks like this entire aft section here lifts up to give you additional storage. These seats here independently fold backwards there's storage underneath both of these seats and obviously as you would expect you can fold this table in and out you can also take these seats here and actually turn them the other way so they can go from dining seats as they are now to like so forward facing seats so the idea being as the boat's going along everybody has the option of facing forwards but you can chop it around the side as you like, but it does give you a rather lovely al fresco dining area. So about dining, a couple of steps forward takes you to the galley. As you can see, it's got a lid to keep it out of the way when you're not using it. Double burner gas hob, little workstation there, and a moulded sink with hot and cold water tap. A little bit of extra storage down there, so you could probably, if you wanted to, pop an ice maker in there. We'll take a quick walk around the decks first before it gets too busy. Nice high ball walks, nice decent sturdy grab rail. There's another grab rail that follows the windscreen right the way around the top. And then a big, big sun pad covering the whole four deck area. You can see then there's windows with ventilation in for the fore cabin and right the way forwards cleats it's quite nice that they've actually got stainless runners to help stop chafing the teak effect and then down in here we have the anchor locker gosh that is a vast anchor locker you can certainly get fenders mooring lines pretty much Probably even get a paddleboard in there if you wanted to. Just shut that back down. Foot buttons to power the anchor winch. As I say, massive sun lounger, look at that. Little tea top as well. So if you are in the med or somewhere hot and sunny, you can get a bit of shade. And that then has glass panels in it as well to help let extra light through. Quite a sturdy old structure that. That drops down and gives you these three racing style seats. So the idea is if you're going quickly, you're probably gonna to want to stand, so you drop the base out and you can then wedge yourself in. Because bearing in mind, this is gonna probably do with the bigger engines, 45 knots. And if you want to cruise or gently motor along, you can lift the swab up and sit in it as a conventional seat and then put your feet on that footrest down there. That gives you a little bit of storage and actually more importantly access to the runners because sometimes these runners through these doors can get a little bit gritty with the salt and it's quite nice to access that to be able to lubricate it. So this is a boat show boat so it's not completely fitted out. It does come as we looked at earlier, the zip wake system here, Garmin navigator, anchor switch there. Actually I don't know what that is because that's the anchor switch over there so do please in the comments let me know what that one does. It's obviously steering wheel usual array of carling switches and fusion stereo 
So you do get, if you wedge myself in this seat, really good view forwards. And obviously again, fantastic view back. So let's go and have a look down below. This is a 35 foot boat, so it's not one of the largest boats around, but it does give you the ability to get a decent amount of space once you drop down into the cabin. So as soon as we drop down, you can see those deck windows that we looked at, or those whole superstructure windows, sorry, that we looked at in there. Immediately on our way down, you can see the distribution panel, and then there's storage dotted all around the place. Obviously, because you've got the galley up top, this can all be general storage. Clever use of space. There's a lot of floor space around here, and this currently is a fairly conventional sofa. Uh, but if you want to maximise the bed space, because obviously the bed looks a bit small, you grab hold of this cushion, pop it down, and then you have a full-size, really big double bed. Again, lots of light. We looked at the, the superstructure windows but there's also hull glazing as well. Lights there, and if the sun pads weren't on the foredeck, you get light coming into there as well. And then there's another one on this side, and then lots of storage in the cupboards there. There's another hanging cupboard in here. Just gonna put that cushion back actually. Quick turn around, sit in this cushion. It gives you an idea of the size in here. And you'll also notice there's a second bed underneath those open gated stairs. And also that maximizes space and storage. Look, another little storage locker in there. So below the stairs, there's a separate curtain so you can effectively close it off at night for a little bit of uh, privacy. And again, you'll see that there's a section here which lifts out to make that either two single beds, like so, or one big double bed. And again, here you can see the infill cushions from the sun lounger dinette table outside. Windows on both sides and little chest of drawers for storage. And it is quite, it is actually, I mean, you can sit in this section here, you can sit down. If I turn this around, if you can see me, but you can sit down. There is sitting room and obviously with a section of the bed taken away, you've got a bit more room there as well. Last but by no means least, is the heads. So behind this little door here, with a full size mirror, which is always nice when you're getting ready. You have a vacuum flush loo, nice sink, big mirror there. Again, some of that glazing that we talked about on the rest of the boat. And then a completely separate full size shower with a seat, which is really nice on a boat of this size. Quite often you're sharing that as a wet room and then you've got as you would expect extra storage underneath bits and pieces in here like so so yeah very very nice so i hope you've liked the tour thank you very much for the team at nautica moray for letting us have a look around hope you've enjoyed the tour do please like and subscribe and i will see you next time round